Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the GIF pack, which is different from a GIF box. I was looking at the sets because I wanted to see what all was coming out. And in November or October, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff coming out and GIF packs has to be new because I don't remember it being here. And I was like, oh, a GIF pack. That's like a better GIF box, I assume. The gift box being okay value. I mean, you do get a really nice box, which is very good storage. You get a promo, you get a land packet. So I obviously expected the gift pack to be even better value, right? Why not replace the gift box with the gift pack and have it be the same price, just more packs of cards in them? I was wrong. So before we go on to what the gift pack is, I wanna say this. Look at that, look at this. This is crazy. October, November, 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 November. My goodness, in November we get a dual deck, we get Iconic Masters, we get a completely new set, and we get From the Vault. Like, a lot. And every month we get something, which is good, but it's also surprising. And in the month of November it is insane that we get four products back to back to back to back and yes and then in december we get unstable so it's like we get a giant set every single month almost but back to the gift pack so lo and behold what is the gift pack is it a better value than the gift box is it a it's easier to transport. So remember, Wizards of the Coast is saving a lot of money in the packaging of this. I assume that because it's cheaper plastic and I'm going to save what it looks like for the end of the video because it is a little surprising. So the gift pack will have five premium basic lands, premium meaning foil, two premium creatures, uh, and these two creatures are the same every gift pack. So Metalwork Colossus and Kari. Uh, are they the best creatures in standard? No. Are they okay? I guess they're like sub bulk. Uh, maybe slightly better than bulk. And you get free booster packs. For 20 bucks, essentially the spin down counter, let's ignore that for now, and the mini poster, whatever. What the? <laughs> what happened here? Why are we getting less value for the same price? It doesn't make any sense. Why is this? In Pokemon, they have a product very similar to this where they give you the EX cards, right? But the EX cards are very good. Or they give you the Mega Evolution or all those good Pokemon stuff. And those cards, those promos are very, very powerful promos. And they're highly in demand most of the time. And you can pick which pro. You have different boxes with different promos and then you get a few booster packs. This is, this is a really bad value and I don't know why we're going this direction when we need more players we need more players we need more people to come we need especially more players that this product will appeal to we need new players casual players we need new blood in our game to come to our game stores how is this going to help yes it's a Walmart Target Barnes & Noble product but I mean why would they only be free booster packs? And this is what it looks like. It looks just like Pokemon. I'm gonna check out what Pokemon gives you. Uh, Pokemon, let's say Blastoise EX. So you get the Blastoise EX, right? Oh, there's also tins, but there's these uh, boxes that I also know of. So you get the, uh, it looks like for $22.49, Shop for America, which is probably a bad website. And you get bonus points too, which is worth 56 cents. So you get the Blastoise and then four packs and then a giant Blastoise, let's say for 20 bucks. I'm a little shocked that we went, okay, Magic the Gathering gift box. Let's see how many packs. I think I remember four packs being there. So are we saying that there's less booster packs than... Um, Okay, let's see. 20 lands. Okay, you get premium, special, whatever. 
This is just a description of it. Walmart actually, by the way, is really bad at describing their products. It doesn't even tell me how many booster packs. So let's go look and determine. Oh yeah, here, I see a picture. All right, 1999 uh, on the Cool Stuff Inc. You can get a Caldas the gift box and it comes with five booster packs, a bunch of lands, the box, and then some, I don't know what those are, like stuff that like deck place, organizers, organizers. So for 19.99 on Cool Stuff, you can get that or you can get this and get two less booster packs, not a box, and not a land packet and only get five lands. This is the ultimate, ultimate product to make the largest margin possible. I mean, you're not printing as much cardboard. You're not printing as many packs. You're not printing as many cards. You're saving on the cardboard. The cardboard on the box, the gift box is not excellent, but it is a stronger cardboard than, you know, this gift pack. I'm just a little baffled as to like why this product does not include more booster packs at $19.99. It's kind of surprising and a little alarming that this is the direction they're going to. Like giving players less and charging them the same. Hmm. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye guys.